In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new program in the P5.js language on the Open Processing website. When you, after you sign in, it's going to take you to your profile page here. And you can see there's this button called Create a, a Sketch. Every program in P5.js is called a sketch. And if you look here next to Activity, I have 16 sketches. So these are all the programs that I have saved on the cloud uh, of my actual account here. And I can either click new sketch here or new sketch here. When you do that, it takes you to an entirely new window and by default loads this standard code. Now you're looking at a few different things. First off, you have this white section here. That is where you type all of your code goes into this section here. And the colors and all that means different functions and we'll get to that in later videos. On the side, you have various settings to turn on libraries and such, as well as files that you can upload, and the internal reference guide that again has many things to look at, or you can always use the actual reference guide on my website as well. To hide this sidebar, you click on the three dots and it goes away. Then at the top, you have a couple different icons. This icon here with two different carrots and the slash symbol is the code icon. This icon here is the play icon and the restart icon. This is the actual program that you're seeing. So when you're in this refresh button here, we're looking at this code. And again, this is the default code that when you drag your mouse around, a bunch of little circles that are white with a black outline appears uh, wherever your mouse pointer is and it keeps drawing them. And that is the default code for every new program. To go back to the coding window, you can click on the little carrot icon. And again, here's the code that actually does this function here. If you don't want to use this language, or if you don't want to use this code, I should say, you can always delete it uh, and write your own from scratch. But by default, they always give you that initial. So if I were to run this now, you'll see that we have nothing but a gray screen because there is no more code here uh, that can run. This icon in the corner is your menu. That's how you can get back to your profile, your sketches, or things like that. And then the icon in the corner is the save button, of course. It does not automatically save. So whenever you make a change, the save icon is going to be here in red. If you click on the save icon, this is where you can name it. So I can call it something like sample program one. And then I have to hit submit. If I do not hit save and submit, it does not save my program. And now you'll notice that when I go back to my language here, there's all these share buttons and the save icon's no longer there. If I go ahead and make a change, whatever it is, notice how I can now hit save or save as fork. Saving as a fork actually creates a copy of your program, while saving will again ask you to click save and submit to save your progress.